How do you feel when you're wearing it? It feels like invisibility clock. Or when you're traveling through checkpoints, it's a lifesaver. <laughs> Border to Syria is closed. Our plan is to just smuggle ourselves in. Nothing compares to being on the ground in the level of investigation that you can conduct. In darkness, abuse takes place. I see our job as putting a bit of a break on that. With our emergency approach, we changed the game of human rights. We're closer to criminal investigators. After the 10th time, they've heard the bombs dropping. People get used to it. I would not get used to it. He's 12 years old. The idea that you or anybody else can die is such an abstract. They bombed Azaz just half an hour ago. What? Is it a good idea to go there? Every person who told me their story, I owed them their moment in court. Our evidence is overwhelming that the forces of the Serbian police and the Yugoslav army purposefully targeted civilians. It was horrifying talking to the guy you were tracking for 10 years. People are being killed. Thousands of people have been detained and tortured. We need to do something right now. You meet somebody on the ground, a witness, a victim, an incredible activist and you feel that if they haven't given up, how on earth do you have the right to give up? We have to be very careful, because, I mean, they're armed. It's nice to be on the right side, and it's nice to fight back.